going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Super Power Review, the show that brings you news and reviews on comic book things. As always, I am your host, Ken Vidinia, and today we're going to be talking about the infamous uh, Venom trailer that came out uh, a couple days ago. Some people really like it, and there are some haters, but today we're going to discuss it with Jay Shepard from all the way from Scotland. What's going on, Jay? What's happening, guys? Thank you for being on the show today. It's been a long time. You, you've been you've been uh, you've been emailing the show. You've been a big fan of the show, and I appreciate your your views. Uh, and then you also got into the club, so congratulations. Cheers, my man. It's always good to be part of the club, man. Very well. So today, let's talk about the Venom trailer um, that came out. So first question yeah. to you, Jay. Did you like the trailer? Aye, aye. I. I, I did like it. There was ups, there was downs, but I liked the most part of it. Most of the part of it, you know. T to be quite honest, with uh, you know, with these days with trailers, um, we we don't uh, we we always see what the movie's going to be basically about with these trailers. They don't give a, a, they do give away a lot. Um, so I felt like that the trailer already g gave kind of the tone that we're going to see for the movie. Yeah, yeah, I got that feel. It was, as you say, it's what happens these days. If anything, we get a bit too much information with trailers. So I like how they've let us see some of the plot, but not delve in and give us too much. Yeah, right, right. Um, I think Tom Hardy is gonna is gonna kill it in this movie. That's that's one thing yes, for sure. Yeah. I feel like Tom Hardy is really going to to be the person to make this movie. He's going to do a great job with this movie. And I think it was oh. a perfect cast for an Eddie Brock. Oh, 100%, 100%. I, that first line of the second trailer just keeps going in my head. You should be extremely afraid. Even just the way he says it, it's, it pulls you in. The first two seconds, you're, all right, I'm watching this trailer, I'm in. Just, <laughs> it's, it's how he does it. It's a Heath Ledger style thing. The way he was with the Joker. Is every time he talked, you were on edge. And I think we're going to have the same thing with Tom Hardy. All right, so let's jump right into this, okay? Let's, let's, let's go into the number one question uh, or what everybody wants to hear, okay? So there's definitely some mixed uh, reviews of what Venom looked like. Some people absolutely thought this trailer and Venom looked amazing. And there, there are some people who thought that this trailer was absolute garbage and Venom looked like garbage. What did you uh, think about what Venom looked like? It's a tough one. It is a tough one. I mean, again, we're only seeing it in seconds. So it's quickly hitting us. You're trying to take it in. You're trying to pause it and quickly look at it. And I actually got told, you need to see the trailer. You need to see Venom. It's so cool. When I seen it, oh, it was amazing. And I wasn't feeling it. When he's on the ground and his body's changing, it just looked like putty going over him. It looked like putty going over the bottom of his body. It looked <laughs> weird. It just didn't fit his body shape. But again, we're only seeing it in seconds. We're seeing early stuff. It might be different on the big screen. I can hope it'll be different on the big screen. <laughs> right, right. Well, I'm going to be honest, okay? So, you know, we're just going to go right into the end here, and then we'll talk about the rest of the stuff from the trailer later on. But uh, I would have to say that they nailed how they how the sim symbiote and yes, I am saying symbiote. I know the movie said sim uh, <laughs> symbiote, okay, like oats and bi. Uh, I think I've been lied to like most of my life, but I'm saying symbiote because that's <laughs> the way I've been saying it all this time, like a tomato tomato kind of thing. I'm saying symbiote, okay. <laughs> when the symbiote. Uh, was taking over Eddie, and you saw it come over his face. I felt like they nailed that. Okay, that was ripped right from the comic books. That looked awesome. Um, but there was his final transformation. If Cody, if you could pu pull, uh, pull up the still Venom last shot, that would be great. Um, when you see him, okay. So this was the final shot we got. Okay, this is where he has. You know, we see his tongue and whatnot. And uh, this was the first thing I saw even before the trailer came out. Uh, this was leaked. And to be quite honest, when I saw this, this looks better because this is an HD, but when I looked at it, it was you know, kind of crappy, uh, like a photo from a, from a camera, if you will, from a camera phone. 
And um, he just kind of looks like a big shiny balloon with teeth for me. <laughs> then, you know, if, if you uh, pull, pull up that image one more time full screen, Cody, um, the only thing I have to say, like, maybe it's the eyes for me. Maybe the eyes are too small. But if you, like, kind of look to his, like, jaw, like, it, he has, like, no definition to his jaw. It's just, like, super, super round. And I don't know. It's just not good enough for me. And then I also have some stills here. Uh, if you can go to Venom Edit number one, uh, Cody, that would be great. Um, so this is what someone did with it. Uh, this is uh, art by JP Edit. So he changed the eyes. And you know what? I actually would prefer the one on the bottom page. He actually looks more like from the books. His eyes look really big. Um, he's, you know, uh, he's got like the little points in his eyes and whatnot. And if you could go to edit two real quick. Yeah, this one is more or less like the same as the other one, but the eyes are just a little bit bigger. Again, looks a little more comic book accurate. And then for the third one, I don't really like the eyes so much, but the mouth. You see like the red and the gums and you know how Venom like his jaw uh, uh -huh. has like the gummies, reds, and you know, connects from the jaw to yeah. the head. And uh, I think these would be a better choice. But um, I'm sorry, Jay, I know you can't look at the stills, but you'll be able to look at them later. Um, but there was one shot that I liked. It was uh, before we saw the tongue, and that would be my favorite Venom shot, if you could pull up that still. I actually really like this. This is when you just see him smiling. You don't see the teeth. Uh, he uh, says, like, we are Venom. And then uh, that kind of reminded me a lot of Amazing Spider-Man number 299, if you can pull up, pull up that still as well, Cody. Uh, looks very. It looks similar to Todd McFarlane's art in Amazing yeah. Spider-Man number 299. But I just feel like they could have uh, done a little bit better with the appearance. Um, so, so Jay, um, a fan of the look? I say yes. You say yes? For the trailer, no. Well, I, I know. It's better than Spider-Man 3. So, I mean, that's, that's it is better than Spider-Man 3. It is a step it's, up from that. <laughs> So as we've got to take what we get, but again, I'll see it in the big screen and hopefully it'll look different. It's, as you say, there's a lot of it. His eyes, his eyes were so small, his mouth was so big. It, I know that's kind of how Venom goes, but with this one, it just didn't fit. It didn't seem to And as you say, a wee bit more gums. That was the best part of reading the comics, was seeing that red gum come through as well. Right. It was part of the colour. It was part of the thing that pulled you in. Right. And this just didn't have that. So I think maybe a little bit too much of Black Symbiote and because the yeah. head is so big, the eyes are so small, the eyes kind of get like lost on that head. You know what I mean? And Definitely. adding the red for the gums kind of like breaks it up a bit. This is, so maybe there's just too much black for me. Aye, aye. I just add a wee bit more definition to it and make it look that wee bit sweeter. But again, there's still a lot of time for editing this all might be subject to change. And yeah, exactly. Well, you know, the thing is like people say like, well, it's just the trailer, everything is, uh, you know, they, they can still tweak it. And I personally don't think that they're still gonna tweak it. I think that is finished product in my eyes. I That's really do. I, I, th I think it is. Um, so let's get, let's get a little into more of the trailer. We said what we had to say about Venom. Uh, you know, I don't want to completely trash this this trailer because I, I don't want to. I do, I, as you guys all know, I'm a huge Venom fan. I love Venom, and I want this movie to do good. But, you know, I'm still concerned. After I watched this trailer, I was still not really sold on the movie, and I'm still kind of worried. But I will tell you the things that I do like. Um, at 22 seconds of the trailer, you, de you do see multiple symbiotes. Um, what do you think that foreshadows there, Jay? Uh, a number of things, a number of things. I can hope for a world of it. I mean, there's folks saying to us that this could be the like the lethal protector or planet or the symbiote style, and that's what they keep saying they're pulling for. So that could be what we're getting. We could be getting a whole army of them, you know, get Scream, Agony, Vasha, Riot, yes. you know, bring all of them. But is that a big jump? Are they trying to bring too much in one film? Mm. Is that what's got to happen there? It, it, I mean, I mean I, you, you hit the nail right on the head. I was thinking the same exact thing with all the other uh, the symbiotes. Symbiotes, not symbiotes. <laughs> um, I was thinking the same exact thing, and maybe for future, if, if the movie does good and if they get a green light for number two, maybe then they'll try to come up with carnage. Maybe uh, Venom overpowers just all of those symbiotes and they try to make something bigger and stronger, which would be carnage. 
Uh, do you think Carnage will be in this movie? I, I know they like said they confirmed it, and then it's not, and then it's... Uh, I've heard a number of things. Apparently, Woody Harrelson is meant to be in it, and he's going to be Carnage, or at least Cletus, but... It's true, because... Is they... it going to happen? Is it not? You I know, know, it's... Because they casted him, and we don't know what he's playing, so I'm only going to assume yeah. they're going to save the surprise as Carnage. Uh, it would be good. I mean, he could definitely play a serial killer, that's for sure. He could definitely play a serial killer. Yes, yes. I, I, could, I could maybe see it, too. Um, you know, I, I don't think it would be the best choice, but I could, maybe, I could see him do it, though. I could see him do it. I, I just... I want to see him do something a bit different. He's always playing th different roles, but not drastically different. This is a chance for him to really jump out and show us I'm not just always that funny, weird guy in the movie. I can be a serious serial killer. So another thing I really liked about this trailer too, uh, I don't know if you picked up on it, but uh, I actually, in both trailers, the teaser trailer and the official trailer, I'm going to have to say that I really love the soundtrack, the music in the background. It really sets the tone of the whole trailer and pop in the movie. A hundred percent, man. A hundred percent. I can't say the guy's name. Ludwig Garrison, I think it is how you pronounce it. Oh, I'm Scottish, so I can't pronounce anything right. <laughs> but it's the guy that gave us the score for Black Panther, Creed. He, I mean, they filmed alone. Great scores, great music behind them. And he's meant to be behind this, so we know we'll at least get good music. So that's one thing we can count on. Music that's got to fit the movie perfectly. Right. Um, music was a huge part of this whole trailer. Uh, I really enjoyed the music. Uh, another thing that I really liked about this trailer, um, when he starts to say, I'm feeling sick, that was a really good scene because that, that made like the whole thing seem like it was turning maybe into a, like a horror movie and that seemed really good. Yeah. Like you see his eye moving around in his head and uh, then we hear uh, Venom speak in his head. What do you think about the voice? I loved it. You loved absolutely it? absolutely loved it. I, I've heard, again, that it's him doing both voices and as you say, I've got all the faith in him. I think he can do this brilliantly. In the film Legends, he played two characters, and he, even though it was him doing both characters, they felt like two different characters, and I think he's got to do that perfectly in this, because when Venom talks, you almost feel the fear in him. You used to watch how he reacts every time Venom, and it's like two different people, and I think he's got to do brilliant in it. It really is. It sounds super demonic. <laughs> it does, 100%, but it should. As it should, it as should. it should, right, right, right. Um, I know a lot of people had mixed opinions about that as they did with how he looks. Um, they say maybe it's a little corny, maybe a little too deep. And um, I, I think it's perfectly fine the way how it sounds. And I hope that um, it, we hear Venom and Brock's head a lot through this whole movie. Cause yep. like they have that relationship in the books and I really hope they keep that in the movie too. Definitely. I mean, the main thing is that Eddie gets his head so messed up by Venom, and that's what I want to see happen. I want to see Venom take him over, because as you said, that bit where he says he feels sick, you see the fear. I hope that by the end of the film, he's gave up with fear and he's just accepted it, and it's Venom running the show. Yeah. But right. yet, still, two folk in one entity. It'd be brilliant. Now, in the, tra in the trailer, it seems like it has the tone of Eddie Brock kind of... Uh, being scared of the symbiote that, that's that's my personal take on it he felt yeah, like uh, like what is going on like why did we do that uh, kind of thing when he knocks like the guy out of the window and whatnot um, but I hope over time in this movie maybe the part where we actually see him turn into Venom maybe yeah. like at some point we start to see him starting to really uh, like the symbiote or the symbiote starts taking more control of it where he has that obsession with the symbiote just like he does yeah. in the comic books. I hope we see more of that. Definitely, definitely. I mean, as you say, you see it he, when he's taking folk out. He doesn't even know what's happening. He seems so confused at what's happening with his body and even says, right, if we're taking out people, I only want to take out bad guys. But I hope by the end of that film, it's just everyone goes. It would attack anyone. He doesn't care anymore. Venom controls him and he controls Venom. Just, as you say, the way it went in the comics, because it wasn't Eddie by the end of it. 
And there's plenty of times where Spider-Man would meet people and say that to him, like, look, that's not the Eddie we know. That's someone completely different. The symbiote <laughs> is Sim- best with his head bio- too much. Uh, it sounds sounds like a Quaker farm kind of uh, brand of, of oats. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It does. I, I wouldn't want to eat it, that's for sure. <laughs> I wouldn't Whatever want to eat it. I'm not eating but it. What, what if you could turn into the symbiote if you, if you did eat it? I would, t- I would eat it every day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I suppose it'd have its pluses and then obviously its downfalls. Um, all right, so, Jay, all right? So, tradition here on Superpower Review, when we give something a rating, I like to use the CGC grades to give something a, a grade, okay? So, using that, okay, what would you give this trailer? The trailer itself? Yeah. I'd give it, say, a 7.4. And that's me being very nice, very, very nice to it. So, would you give it a 7.0 or 7.5? Closer to 7.5? 7.5, I. 7. I'll give it a 7.5. All right. I, I, you know what? I, I, I'm going to have to agree with your, your rating because I, I would give this a CGC rating of a 7.5 as well. And, um, you know, it just it doesn't make me confident in this movie. I, I, this movie could go... I, I don't think it's going to be an amazing movie. I really don't. I think it's going to be a baseline semi-okay movie, or it could go even worse than that. Right. No, 100%. I think it's just Sony thinking, we just got a lot of money for Spider-Man's name. Let's take Venom's name, because now they've got Marvel in their pocket again. He has loads of money, and we'll give Venom. <laughs> we we, so we beat Spider-Man to death today. already. Let's do Venom. <laughs> Let's beat Venom to death yeah. now. <laughs> Pretty much. I, that's it to a team, I think. They know they're not going to make as much money as Marvel can, but see if they make a film, they've got the copyrights in book, and then Marvel need to pay up to get that name back. Right. And you know, I'm almost already over the fact that uh, this movie has no ties to Spider-Man already. Uh, there's no yeah. origin Spider-Man uh, already. I'm already kind of over that. It's, it is what it is at this point already. Um, I have a prediction that since there is no Spider-Man origin, I'm not expecting uh, Venom to have the spider on his chest. I'm not expecting it at all. Yeah, see, Me? that is one that I've kind of been thinking about, man, and it's it's going to look r- rubbish. I, I have it's a going prediction. It's going to look rubbish to fit the spider. Yeah, I know. I mean, if they put it in, great, whatever, because it is the character. Uh, Even if there is no origin story, I don't care. I, I would love to see that white spider. But if they do go through the, the route of not having a Spider-Man origin, I'm re- literally expecting a big white patch of like symbiote, like to maybe, cause you see it like go over his shoulders on one of the screenshots. So like maybe like, you know how Carnage has like the black symbiote on his chest, something yeah, like that for yeah. Venom, but maybe white. That's what I'm kind of predicting, but I, I, I'm not really thinking that they're gonna do the spider. That's my prediction, I don't know. Nah. No, I totally agree. I don't see them doing it because it's ties to something that's not there. You know what I mean? It's going to bring us comic book geeks who sit there and see it and constantly be thinking, where's that came from? There's no Spider-Man. This yeah. isn't the origin. This is a completely different thing. But will it look stupid? Will it just look like more milk? Remember the first pictures <laughs> that looked like milk poured out his eyes? Is that what this is going to look like? Is it going to look like he spilt milk on his chest? Because that's what I'm worried for. He's, he's I don't gonna... want any more milk. He's going to look like the cookies and cream monster. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's going to be the cookies and cream monster. The Oracle. Return. Um, the other reason why I'm going to give this trailer a 7.5 because uh, mostly throughout this movie we saw like a lot of tendril action and I thought the tendrils look eh. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. that's uh, my other thing. No, there's no other way of saying it than they look like, eh. Yeah. But, as you say, Tom Hardy looks brilliant on it. That's one yeah. thing that I have to give a decent number for. As I said, that, that first line, the trailer may not have been great, but that first line had me hooked and thinking, this is brilliant. So if he's going to be great on screen all the time, it might be enjoyable. Yeah. But as comic book fans, there's going to be a lot of points, I think, that will just annoy the heck out of us. We're just going to be sitting there going, oh, God, Sony. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why did you do this again? 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> but then again, we're forgetting that we've been through it and we should have learned by now and stopped giving them our money. But no, we'll go. We'll, we'll pay the money. Yeah, we'll the go. Pop. We'll, we'll go knowing like, eh, this is probably going to be lame, but I'm going to watch it anyways. <laughs> yep. And then we'll all leave and we'll write paragraphs on the internet about how it sucked <laughs> and how we would have done it better and why didn't you listen to us in the first place and why don't you do this because we're all masterminds and... Hey, you know, I'm going to be completely honest. I hope I don't do those things, though. I hope it, it does make me say, I, I hope it makes me eat my words and say, you know what, they did a good job. I, I, I do. I 100% I agree. I hope that is the case. I really do. I mean, as you said, it's, Venom's a big part of most Spider-Man fans because we grew up reading Spider-Man when you're a teenage boy and he's like, this is brilliant. I feel, I feel like Peter Parker. I relate to him. And then you get older. And he, you don't relate to Peter Parker anymore. It's more Venom you get pulled towards. It's the dark, scary ones as you get older. You're like, this guy's cool. I like him. Right. And we don't see that kill. Yeah. And that's what it comes down to. Is you hope that they'll do it right, but it's anyone's game. It's anyone's game. So my question to you, audience, okay, if Cody, if you could pull up uh, Venom Edit 1, uh, do you want what Sony gave us in the trailer? Or do you want to see something more of the edit version? Uh, to be quite honest, if I saw more of the edit version, I think I would actually be maybe a little more stoked about this movie because I'd be like, you know what? They got him right. They nailed it. Uh, if you could pull up uh, the, the second edit too, Cody. You know, so, you know, maybe it's the eyes for me. Maybe it's just the eyes are too small, too skinny. Um, you know, when, when we see Venom in the comics, you know, those eyes are huge. They, they cover a good portion of his head, and they, they look mean. You know what I mean? These are just kind of like, wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so what is your vote, audience? Let me know in the comments section below. Um, are you excited for this movie? Uh, d what did you think of what Venom looked like? Did, did you like how he looked? I don't know. I mean, I'm just like, yeah, okay. You know, when I, again, when I first saw her, I was like, ugh, that's what he looks like. It's starting to grow on me because, you know, at this point, it is what it is. Yep. That's it, man. Uh, so, Jay, that's going to wrap up our show today. I want to thank you so much for being a fantastic guest, and I would love to have you back on. It would be amazing. Uh, it's no problem, man. Any time, my man. Any time. I'm happy to do it. We'll just need to figure out the clock since it's so up and down. <laughs> so with that, okay, I do have a couple more uh, announcements to make. Um, I just want to give a huge shout out to my friend Eric Lovato, who sent me these amazing prints. Uh, since we're talking about the Venom movie today, might as well show off this print because, hey, it's got Venom on it. It's symbiote related, not symbio related. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I want to thank Eric Lovato for sending me this uh, fantastic, super talented artist. Um, you can follow Eric Lovato on Instagram at Eric Lovato Art. He is fantastic. I, you have to follow him. Uh, this is one of my favorite pieces. I have to frame these ASAP. Also, um, if you're a huge Venom fan like I am, um, you might want to go on Instagram and check out Sunny's Comics, or you can go on sunnyscomics.com. Uh, they have a store exclusive of Venom Number no. 1, and the cover is done by the legendary artist Mark Bagley. So I'm, I suggest you go check that out or contact Sunny's Comics on how to acquire one. So that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to see more from this channel, make sure you subscribe. That's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys really soon. Awesome, love.